Hi, my name's Roland Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the term restorative mechanotherapy. Restorative mechanotherapy is a rehabilitation strategy that uses mechanical stimuli to enhance musculoskeletal tissue quality and improve activity tolerance. Published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine, Kahn and Scott proposed the term mechanotherapy to represent the role of exercise in stimulating connective tissue repair and regeneration. The paper describes the physiological process of mechanotransduction, where connective tissue cells convert physiological mechanical stimuli into biochemical responses. In the connective tissues, mechanotransduction begins with the application of a mechanical stimulus and finishes with cell-initiated tissue adaptation and regeneration. Healthy connective tissue is well organized, with tightly packed collagen fibers and an active population of connective tissue cells. In poor quality connective tissue, the collagen fibers are disorganized. In addition, they are of decreased size and strength. The application of a mechanical stimulus, such as compression, tension, or torsion, results in mechanical deformation of the connective tissue structure. Cellular mediated repair and regeneration of connective tissues is fairly complicated, but for the sake of simplicity, mechanical deformation of the connective tissue fibroblast results in activation of the cell, leading to the production of healthy collagen that's used to remodel the connective tissue so that it transforms from a poorly organized pain producing tissue into a more organized, more activity tolerant tissue. Kahn and Scott proposed reclaiming the term mechanotherapy, which had been used in the past to describe mechanical means to treat or cure disease. Their new definition for mechanotherapy was the employment of mechanotransduction for the stimulation of tissue repair and remodeling. The word restorative has been combined with mechanotherapy to emphasize that mechanotherapy is used to produce tissue regeneration and adaptation with the goal of having the individual return to normal activity without pain or limitation. Restorative rehabilitation is in contrast to protective rehabilitation, which focuses on the avoidance of mechanical stress and painful activities. I consider there to be three primary treatment approaches in rehabilitation. Tissue healing and protection. Biomechanical optimization. And restorative mechanotherapy. These three treatment paradigms are categorized according to their therapeutic intent. The primary goal of tissue healing and protection is to produce the most favorable outcome after tissue damage. In the short term, often this means avoidance of activities that are painful or stressful. In biomechanical optimization, the goal of the treatment is to normalize neuromuscular control and improve movement quality to evenly distribute loading across all tissues. And the intent of restorative mechanotherapy is to improve tissue quality so that activity tolerance increases. Keep in mind that there is overlap between the three paradigms and a treatment may achieve the therapeutic intent of more than one category. So in summary, Restorative mechanotherapy is a rehabilitation strategy that uses mechanical stimuli to improve tissue quality and increase pain-free function. Or pictorially, rotator cuff damage plus manual therapy and exercise results in improved rotator cuff tissue quality and greater activity tolerance. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope that I achieved my goal of defining the term restorative mechanotherapy and giving you an understanding of the background behind the name. In my next video, I'm going to explore the differences between exercises for restorative mechanotherapy and our other treatment paradigms. Feel free to share this video with colleagues and go to Roland Lucas PT for more videos and more information about the courses I offer.